Today we'll be looking at the triangle sum theorem. I would like you to think about a full circle, going all the way around a circle. There are 360 degrees in a full circle. If I would only go halfway, it would be 180 degrees, looking like a straight line or a straight angle. The triangle angle theorem is talking about the makeup of the three angles that make up a triangle. If I detach those three angles from the triangle, then move them around and piece them together, they actually fit perfectly on the straight line and create the 180 degrees half circle. So the theorem states angle A plus angle B plus angle C will always total 180 degrees. So let's take a look and see if we can prove this theorem by seeing how it works. Look at our first triangle. We have an isosceles triangle with measurements of 50, 65, and 65. Let's remember that an isosceles triangle has two congruent angles. The theorem states angle A plus angle B plus angle C will total 180 degrees. We fill in first what we know, 50, 65, and 65. That will total 180 degrees. We will then add those together I'm doing the math at the bottom to try to eliminate errors. And now I'll show you that 50 plus 65 was 115. The 115 plus the other 65 gives me 180. And since 180 equals 180, we proved the theorem correct. Now we're going to look at a right triangle. As you can see, there's 70, 20, and a right angle. Remembering that a right angle is 90 degrees. The theorem again states angle A plus angle B plus angle C equal 180 degrees. By filling in the things we know, we start by saying, oh, we know that a right angle is 90 degrees, so I'm going to fill in 90 degrees. Then I'm going to add the 70, add the 20, and set that equal to 180. If I add 90 with 70, I get 160. Then I add in the 20, 160 plus 20 will give me 180 degrees. That 180 equals 180. Therefore, we've proved the theorem again. One more try. Now we have an obtuse angle, obtuse triangle. We're going to go ahead and write down the theorem. That angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. Fill in what we know. A is 30, B is 110, and C is 40. Set those all equal to 180 and begin combining. 30 and 110 is 140. Combine 140 with 40 gives me 180. 180 equals 180 and again it checks out. So now what happens if I have a triangle with a missing angle? How can we solve? I'm going to show you. <laughs> Here's a triangle with measurements 40, 32, and X. We're going to solve for x by using the triangle sum theorem. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. First, I'm going to fill in everything we know. We know the 80. We know the angle of 52. And we know the last angle is represented by the letter x because it's unknown. We will still set that all equal to 180 degrees. Now we're going to combine the like terms. 80 and 52 can be combined to give us 132. X is still unknown at this point, and this is all equal to 180 degrees. This, of course, should look like an equation, and we know in order to solve an equation, we are going to be doing inverse operations. So we're going to subtract 132 from both sides of the equation in order to keep balance. That allows us to have X on the left side, and by doing the calculation of 180 minus 132, we will find out what x is equal to. Our math states that x equals to 48, but we should always check our answers. Remember the theorem says if we add all three together, we should get 180. So let's add what we know. The 80 
plus the 52 plus the 48 we got for x totaled up should check out to total 180 degrees and if so we know we did the problem correctly. Yay! Here's another triangle. You can see there's a right angle, a 35 degrees, and an X. We're going to solve for X again by using the triangle sum theorem. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is going to equal 180 degrees. We're going to fill in what we know. We can see 35. We need to identify that the right angle is actually worth 90 degrees so that we can actually put that in for the angle. Lastly, we're going to leave x as x because we do not know the value. Set that all equal to 180 degrees. Let's combine our like terms. 35 and 90 is going to give us 125. Leaving x as x because it's still unknown and setting it equal to 180 degrees. Again, we see an equation where we're going to do the inverse operation and solve by subtracting 125 from both sides in order to keep balance. We have then x left on the left side, and by doing the math of 180 minus 125, we will find out the value of x. Again, let's check our work. Let's look at the three angle measurements that we have, the 35, the 90, and our new value of 55 for x. We will add them up and find if they total 180. If they do total 180, again, we did our problem correct. We have our correct answer, and we were successful today. Thank you so much for joining.